So this vote took place while nearly every single Republican candidate's running ads promising to protect pre-existing conditions, even though they've all voted against them. Um, some of the Republicans running are actually part of a federal lawsuit trying to strike down the Affordable Care Act and pre-existing conditions, and yet are running ads about how they're in favor of pre-existing conditions. Tommy, what, is that, what do you think that says about how far the politics of health care have shifted? Yeah, I mean, I think the majority of House candidates in swing districts, the vast majority, are in favor of Medicare for all or some version of Medicare for all at this point. It shows you how far the politics have swung on health care uh, towards the Democratic position. But these guys dug themselves an enormous hole because they have trained their base to hate everything that is associated with Obama. And they voted dozens of times to repeal Obamacare. But funny thing happened between the passage of the Affordable Care Act and today, which is that Obamacare got really popular. It took like you long enough. 50, <laughs> yeah. It's like 54% approval, yeah. you know? And it's like, the, it's the issue most voters want to hear candidates talking about. So it's not just these votes in Congress, it's these lawsuits that are coming out of secretaries of state who are running for office in states across the country, and it's putting them in a very bad place. So I think like the vast majority of Democratic ads are about health care. Like, Outside of Washington, these campaigns are very, very substantive. It's, it's about health care, first and foremost. It's yeah. other, the other reason these Republicans are doing this is they are liars. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's... Dan's the shame thing again. Um, no, 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 yeah, the, but the shame thing. It is interesting, right, because, you know, Donald Trump, from Donald Trump down to Republicans, it's in order for Republicans to win on the issue of health care, they make themselves sound like Democrats, mm -hmm. yeah. right? That they'll protect pre-existing conditions, that they'll pre protect Medicare, and they'll protect you against Democrats trying to undermine your health care and take your health care, uh, which I think speaks to how much the politics is. It's a signal. Well, right. I also yeah. think that, that like what you were saying, it's, it's like an implicit acknowledgement of the fact that what they want for the country is contrary to what the majority of the country wants, which is something that should be really disturbing to us. Like that, is, that tells you everything you need to know about the people who are in power, who are advertising themselves as being pro-protecting pre-existing conditions, but then in practice, quietly advocating against protecting those positions. They know that what they're advocating for is not what the people want, and they're doing it right. anyway. And they have a sincere belief, right? They have a sincere belief that the government should be less involved in health care and that the system will work better if insurance companies have more leeway to offer different kinds of plans, even if those plans don't cover very much and leave people exposed they, to the worst predations of the industry. But they never campaign on that sincere yeah, belief. Yeah, that's if cool. you believe that, let us know. Run well, ads about what that. What they're campaigning on is saying that Democrats are going to gut Medicare. But there's one party that has a plan to gut Medicare. And, and the way you do that is you pass a $1.5 trillion tax cut for the wealthy and for corporations. And you know what happens at the back end of that? You gut entitlements like Medicare, Medicaid and Social Security. It's just math. That's yeah. what will happen. Well, so the White House has also noticed that health care is the top issues for voters this fall. Uh, on Wednesday, Trump wrote a, an op-ed in USA Today. Or, <laughs> did it, what do you I'm think? sorry. You think he, he did it longhand yeah, at first no, start? I think, I think yeah. he stayed up a few no, nights. No, 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 no. Donald Trump paces in the Oval, and he just starts speaking, and they take it down, Yellow and it comes pack. out like a like a Leonard Cohen song, just perfect. <laughs> perfect on the first fucking draft. So his, uh, his best effort uh, at the USA Today op-ed contained so many lies that the Washington Post fact-checkers noted that nearly every sentence of the piece contains some kind of misleading statement or falsehood. In the piece, Trump accuses yeah, Democrats yeah. of pushing a Medicare for All plan that uh, will end Medicare as we know it and destroy the benefits that seniors have already paid for. Um, Love it. What, why has this op-ed made the fact checkers so angry? And why did USA Today publish a, uh, an op-ed with so many lies? I don't know, John. <laughs> Maybe they're still smarting from the fact that people got weather on their phones. <laughs> <laughs> USA Today exists to give business travelers something to read on the fucking toilet. <laughs> Your job is to do no harm. Do not spread lies, all right? These are people who have meetings to get to. They're far from home. They miss their kids. They miss their dog. It's an insurance convection. Maybe they'll cheat on their spouse. They got a lot on their minds. <laughs> really dark. The last thing you need to do is startle them with false information about healthcare. These are people trying to network, like, find new business partners, find places to new suppliers. It's like, but who goes to USA At a Today Marriott for... Marquis. <laughs> or a Hampton Inn. Can I take the Give second half of your question? Break. Yeah, take it. What? <laughs> what time is this over? <laughs> I, I think it is important because they've decided that as Democrats have moved en masse to support 
Medicare for all. Yeah. They've decided that this is going to be the leading edge of their attack against Democrats, not just in this election, but they know that every Democrat running in 2020 is going to be a supporter of Medicare for all. So first, it's important to say this argument that Medi giving Medicare to everyone is bad for Medicare is bullshit. And you have to call it out for that. The second thing is important to do is call it out for what they're really saying. The subtext of this is, hey, old white people, right. Democrats are going to take your Medicare that you love. They're going to give it to young black and brown people. Vote for us. Like, that's what this is. Undocumented immigrants. Right. That's what you're not getting the Medicare that you deserve. Yeah, Colin Kaepernick, he's going to get it. <laughs> it, it you know, it, it, the what, protesters. Yeah, they're going to give Colin uh, Kaepernick Medicare. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to give Antifa <laughs> Medicare. They're giving it to the